Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. So let's just dive straight into it. And we're really looking at the uh, classic Agora Terra.money site. And you folks should be paying more attention to this if you're not already. If you are, well done to you. Kudos, pat on the back, because this is kind of where a lot of the discussions happen. I spend a lot of time uh, on here reading stuff. I should comment more, but, you know, I just kind of like to think about it myself. And then I, I ultimately don't make... Um, end votes for our node uh, Nival Life Sway or say on that decision. So what I'm seeing is, is this kind of, everybody's got really good ideas for these funds, but we're never, we're not really getting anywhere with it. But something I've just read down here in the comments for this is got my, what, you know, when you kind of do the one eyebrow up as if to say, ha, huh? what's going on here then? So there is a comment in here from Rex. I have checked the account um, and he said, hello, our stance has not changed. Terror Rebels as an org has nothing to do with these funds. It is to my understand that we want nothing to do with these funds as well. Terror Rebels will remain independent and have decided to completely disconnect ourselves from this topic. So from where I'm sitting, this was put up eight days ago. There's only two people we know who have access to the ability to, you know, get new multi -sign signature signers on Alex and Vega. So that's two people, okay? And, you know, we can both stand here, or we can all stand here and say they don't like each other. They, they rub on each other very badly. And, you know, neither one's ever going to meet in the middle. No one really wanted to meet in the middle. It was kind of like my way or I'll just suggest something completely different and um, disconnect myself from it whilst throwing in a $1,000 finder's fee, uh, sorry, $100,000 uh, finder's fee on the money. No one found the money, the money found itself. Um, he just watched the same AMA that a lot of people did and because that person's mind revolves clearly around money, they saw an opportunity and went through it. There's no other way to describe that because of his actions once he realized he wasn't getting in on it you know, and the legal liabilities outweighed what he would financially gain from it. It's not worth it at that point to him. So his willingness to, you know, actually be here and support this community is just not, it's not, you know, it's really come out in the wash recently. And you've kind of shown at that point what your intentions are and stuff like that. But this proposal in itself, um, or this route that they're talking about in this, this discussion aims to give the top nine validators um, there are multi-signature roles over this and there's a lot of people who are saying you know if we send it all to the community pool and the, the coin crashes we'll, we'll lose all of our money and what I can say to you all is is what was 4.16 million dollars is likely around 2.16 million dollars because of the recent uh, crash I've, I've been figuring this out recently and, and thought this whole time we've been bickering you know it's gone down by 50% anyway you know, you've got many routes, but in itself, there seems like only one logical route at this point. Get nine people to sign for it or get three people to sign for it and then send it all to the community pool and just save all the bickering. Or sign for it, keep the assets in off-chain stables and then allow an LCDM point to be blipped up on the Terra station to show our native community pool and then our non-native community pool. That's another route we could take. Really simple kind of way to address those funds. And, you know, within all of that, this time that these funds have been around and stuff like that, many proposals could have been put up already to have got funding from those funds. But I think the biggest underlying issue with this is, is all the legal consequences that are going to come with it. Like there could be money laundering charges that would the persons that signed for it then become accountable for and... There's just so many like things and it seems like we're in this like this eddy, this whirlpool that we can't paddle out of because, you know, one person doesn't like one person's idea. They don't want to meet in the middle and, and stuff like that. And this is not what governance is like. Decentralized governance is, is about. It's about kind of not wanting to be the center of everything all the time not wanting to be the person who can fix everything and understanding that other people's ideas are good ideas and you can take someone's idea, take your own idea and another person's idea and take the best parts from those that the community really liked, 
remove the worst parts from them that the community really didn't like and then put all of the good stuff together and then you really do have a better chance of moving forward because the more people argue and bicker and go back and forwards with each other the, the more we're going to start losing people just because of the sheer fact that they're bickering they get annoyed with someone else in the space because they don't want to give a little bit of ground and they think to themselves why should i give a little bit of ground and then we end up in this kind of like bull in a china shop um whereas like every time the bull smashes all the china off of the walls someone quickly runs in puts it all back up tells the bulls to pause for a sec and then runs back out and then says all right guys go again and then it all gets destroyed again and we can't keep going in circles like this it's you know like I see so much focus recently just towards, you know, getting the circulating supply corrected on coin market cap. Um, okay, well, why aren't coin market cap doing this anyway? You know, why are you? It, it like it baffles me where the time goes and stuff like that across the board. And then there's just you know, oh, we, we need funding and we need this and we need that. And then you see in the comment section that Terra Rebels are from what I can see from someone who represents Terror Rebels is saying, we're disconnecting ourselves with this money full and wholly. We want nothing to do with it. So, okay, Terror Rebels don't want nothing to do with it. So that outlines and outrules, sorry, the, the aspect of them wanting to use it for funding, okay? So send it to the community pool, okay? Be done with it. Don't, okay, this is one thing as well that really gets me. Why don't the current multi signature signature signers send it to the community pool themselves why has that not been suggested you know why because those multi-signature signers will be liable legally for those funds and for sending them to where they sent them to and that's the same for burning that's been outlined by alex that someone will have to take the legal obligations uh, for these funds and it's just not fair um as it stands and before this money even came to surface everything was going really well Everybody was really happy and everybody's still working. If you go and listen to my podcast with Zarda um, this week, you would you would know that things are going absolutely swimmingly. In fact, a lot of them are getting new laptops and, and stuff like that from, from the funding. And, you know, it's, it, I, it shocks me that, you know, so many people want to be this kind of, you know, I can fix everything. You know, I have to have my hand in everything and I have to do everything but let me know what you guys think there's a lot of mixed comments in here and a lot of back and forth in between a lot of people which is why i don't like to comment and kind of outline th outline things too much i'd rather just kind of speak about it in a video and kind of give you engage how i'm feeling about this situation in hand and i just honestly feel it's been going on for too long either you know acquire the funds and leave them in a non-native pool blip the lcd endpoint onto terra station or send them all to the community pool don't keep allowing people to keep bickering over it let's get a proposal up let's get everybody voting on it let's get it agreed and move forward <clears throat> especially considering this was i think eight days ago now so it just leaves people in this horrible state of oh, nothing's happening and you know everything's uh, all this stuff and people start panicking and this that and the other so just at the end of this video, I really want to thank everybody for um, supporting us and supporting the channel, supporting the node and just everything. The NFT project is, is looking like it's going to mint out within 24 hours, which is absolutely insane. It's around five hours until we reach the 24 hour period. And last time I checked, there was 811 uh, minted already. Absolutely insane to see this many people wanting to utilize the projects we've been asked by so many people you know why was the collection so small and it's because of the simple fact that here at hcc there's one thing we like to do and it's to take small slow very very carefully fought out steps to ensure we're not running before we can walk and we can look after the people that we are getting on board in these projects it's all about you know really looking after the people that support you and helping them achieve, you know, better things and, and, and giving them a reason to actually want to hold one of these NFTs and stuff like that. But we've got so many awesome things to come from the Lunk Penguins NFT project and everything's going really well. I'm absolutely shocked in myself that a project can mint out um, so fast if it does mint out in 24 hours. 
Thanks for everything, folks. I hope you're using the burn portal. I hope you're utilizing all the little bits that we're putting out there for you. Lots to come from the HCC family and the HCC factory in the future. Have a great Friday. Catch you in our midday live stream. Stay safe. Beware of scammers. Do use Agora Text. I'll leave a link to the proper one in the description because you'll end up going to the Luna Agora Text. And beware of scammers. Beware of doppelgangers. Beware of anybody pretending to be me. And I'll catch you in the next one.